Hi everyone, this is Anthony from SirEnglish.com. In today's lesson, we're going to study an idiom. Now, idioms are used by native speakers in most conversations. We use idioms without even realizing. So they're very important to, at the very least, to know. But if you can use idioms in your conversations, they make you sound really, really fluent. And the idiom we're going to study today is a very common one and it's a very easy one to use. We're going to look at this idiom in lots of detail so you really, really get a good understanding of it. And then we're going to do some practice. So by the end of this lesson, you'll not only understand the idiom, but you'll be able to use it in your conversations. So when you're ready, let's get started. Welcome to this idioms lesson. In this lesson, we are going to master this idiom, a piece of cake. So what does this idiom mean? To be a piece of cake simply means very easy to do or complete. Now let's look at some example sentences so that we can understand this idiom much better and in which contexts we can use it. So again, at the top I've just shown you the definition. Be a piece of cake means very easy to do or complete. And a couple of synonyms are easy or simple. How was it flying a helicopter for the first time? It must have been difficult. Oh no, it was a piece of cake. It is actually easier than it looks. You're studying really hard for the test next month. With all this effort, it'll be a piece of cake for you. I'm not so sure. I heard it's the toughest test of the year. Jane and I are moving to the USA next year. Oh, it'll be a piece of cake for you both. You have both traveled a lot, and at least you won't have to learn a new language. At first, I thought housekeeping would be a piece of cake. Now I know that not to be true. You're right. It's hard work. I'm so scared. I don't think I can go down that water slide. Come on, Kate. I just did it, and it's a piece of cake. Learning Chinese is a piece of cake. Oh, I completely disagree with you, Pablo. It's one of the hardest languages to master, especially the writing. Okay, now we're at the practice section of this lesson. What I'd like you to do here is come up with your own response to these sentences using a piece of cake. You can write some responses in the comments section below to practice. So use the idiom a piece of cake in your writing. Respond to the sentences that I give you. For example, if I give you this sentence, English is so tough, I can never remember any new words I study. Come up with your own response using the idiom, a piece of cake. Here's an example that you might come up with. You might say, English is a piece of cake for me, maybe because I enjoy it. So when you're ready, let's begin. Yesterday's test was so easy. What did you think of it?
So, you run your own business? That must be such a stressful job. The boss has given me so many tasks to complete for this week. I don't know if I can cope. Please give me some tips on how to lose weight. I keep trying, but I haven't lost anything. I can't believe some people find it difficult to use a computer. It's just so easy. My furniture has arrived, but I have to build it all myself. I don't know if I can do this. So I hope that lesson was helpful for you all. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment below. What I suggest you do is uh, res whatever response you came up with during the lesson, type it below using the idiom and I'll do my best to check all the comments and uh, help you if you need help or make any corrections. Um, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button as well and head over to sirenglish.com that's where you'll find lots of free stuff and lots of resources for learning English. So, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next one.